Okay, everyone, I just wanted to share um, uh, this brush card that I made for a friend as a Christmas present. Hopefully it keeps any tree branches, etc., from going to the radiator. Um, I've noticed the most larger tractors in this just have a flat stock frame that doesn't really do much, so uh, this is going to be a great addition to the machine. It's a fairly easy design. I actually just um, made a template with a Sharpie and uh, cut out with cardboard and um, ended up just drilling these mounting holes in a piece of quarter-inch plate. And got kind of creative to bend it all together. Um, so this was done on the welding table and I was able to make great use of the antique Chas Parker vise. And now I'm going to show some clips of how it all went together. So uh, please enjoy. Alright, so I'm making a brush guard for this mower here. And uh, I'm going to make this piece of pipe, two piece of pipe go up against here. And I have a Harbor Freight pipe bender, but I kind of hate the thing. It works okay for little things like that, but bigger stuff not so much. Anyway, so I figured, hey, why don't I try this method? Alright, so I got the back side hot. Let's try to push it in. Hope you guys can see this. Okay, let me grab the camera here. All right, so see these are the slits now closed up. And you can see where I welded on the, or heated up on the back side and just pushed in with my hand. Now we have these nice bends. So what I'll be able to do is just weld in there, um, grind it flush and Shouldn't look too bad. It's we're back here at the brush guard, and uh, I'll show you guys real quick. I have this piece here that I notched out. It's right in like that and now when you're doing pipe like this as you can see this piece I ground down um, they call it coping notching pipe some people use a hole saw bit and actually cut that I use a simpler method Let's put it in the vise here and just just do just do these like that grind it clean if you want to get really technical with it, sometimes when I want it to look really nice, I'll get the flap disc wheel, sand this down, and polish it nice and smooth. But the main thing is with this type of thing, you want it to be a <clears throat> tight fit up in there. Anyways, I'm going to show you how I bent the plates too, because the reason it's like this is... Uh, down here where it mounts is on the frame rails to the mower, but if it went straight up, um, to see the profile here, if it went straight up, it'd be interfering with the lights. And so this way I just get a wider stance on it, a little bit more protection, it's out of the way of the lights. So anyways, what I did here is I took the plate and I grinded right here a notch you can see I haven't welded this side up yet. So you can see, let me focus this. You can see how I grinded like 70% through. All the way through I grinded down here and I was able to just push it um, with my hand or grab, grab a crescent wrench and just go up like this and pull it where I wanted. Alright, so here it is, done welding, um, just grinding and polishing these ones down, so it kind of looks like one piece of metal, kind of neat. These ones over here I'm going to leave, uh, turned out okay, um, 
So yeah, these ones will leave on the sides here and then uh, grind down the middle. 